Hello everybody, it's Linda and I'm back to share another project with you. I have finished uh, yet another mini album. Uh, this was made with the Madame Boutique collection from Kaiser Craft. I have been struggling with that collection because of the color combinations and especially because of some what I think is just terribly ugly uh, die cuts. They were just like distracting me. I should have just thrown them away, but <laughs> I just felt like I should use them. So I think I managed to put a couple of them in here, but most of them just, yeah, you know. So uh, I have uh, made this album using the, the Stack the Deck binding from Laura Dennison. And I have my own version of this. And um, I have a tutorial on how I put the, the envelopes together because this is an envelope album. And uh, so if you're interested, I'll just link to that tutorial below so you can see uh, how I did this. And the cover is just plain chipboard. And as you can see here, the, uh, the envelope album is attached to the spine of the chipboard. And the chipboard is three separate pieces just uh, stuck together with duct tape and then covered with uh, papers. And... I just covered the edges with Japanese masking tape or washi tape. So I'm happy with how that turned out. Uh, when I had finished my album or the inside of my album, then I was going to make a cover and I discovered I didn't have any 12 by 12 papers left. So I had to use something else because this is fairly big. It's seven inches across and 10 inches tall. So uh, I found some papers that matched the collection from um, a Prima script pad. It's a 12 by 12 pad. So this paper here is from that pad, except from that paper, all the rest of the papers are from that Madame Boutique stack from Kaisercraft. And this is a Tim Holtz die. And this is a Sherry Lynn die. It's really pretty. And I just cut this out. I stamped forever. This is a button with some twine, as you can see. And this is also from the same die that cuts this dress form here. And just a metal scissor, uh, some lace that I got from Leonie. Leonie, I mean, <laughs> my passion for paper. Thank you so much, Leonie. It was perfect for this. And this is just some ribbon. So it's really simple to just go with how the papers and how the rest of the album is. So I made a, a huge photo mat, plain and simple, here. And uh, I just embellished and I tore and I put some lace in, as you can see. And this opens up. Here is a pocket with room for tags. These tags are from the paper. And this is from a Martha Stewart punch. And I just layered them and glued them down with some pop dots. I just cut this from the paper and uh, made a belly band here, which was really freaking hopeless. It was killing me because it was like too uh, too much room under here. So I had to, to put this lace to stop things from sliding out. And I, put, I had to put this one to stop, stop them from sliding down. So <laughs> that was a nightmare. <laughs> and just a, a metal charm and some paper tearing up here. And let's see. Okay, so this is the next page. Made some pockets. This flap in here is a big pocket for tags. And here is a pocket as well. And here I just uh, learned this from Anna Sanero one. And uh, just put paper clips in and to hold tags. So these are die cuts some of the few that I actually managed to use. And here is a pocket as well. So there are so many pockets in this album and so much room for photos and tags and stuff. And small envelopes here, holding some tags, some cutouts from the paper. And this is, there's a tag inside this envelope here. It's magnets, I used a lot of magnets. If you wonder how I use magnets, I also have a tutorial for that and I'll link to that as well. So just kept it fairly simple and easy. These are just uh, just a little booklet made with uh, papers from from the collection and some ordinary papers that I just inked. I inked all the edges with Distress Ink and some more tags here in this pocket. Layered some stamps and as you can see, dangle the charm. Yeah, so I decorated 
with stamps mostly and Tim Holtz die cuts. And here, this is a little file folder die. I think it's a memory box die. And uh, just did some layering. Sorry, can't see the whole page. <laughs> and uh, pocket with a tag inside. And uh, this pulls out. Pocket here. And this pulls out like so. I really, I just love playing with uh, these type albums uh, because you can construct, you know, any kinds of pockets and flips and flaps and whatever. And here is the middle page. I will just lift up for a second so you can see it's quite symmetrical. So I didn't do uh, much to this. And these two pages here, they pull out like this, which means there are tags here in both these and tags here so that's the middle pages and then here and again you know this pulls out which means there is a pocket here as well and uh yeah and here is a pocket and just another paper clip here and this envelope here is a pocket and of course the envelope pocket here you can put a picture here kept this simple because of all the stuff going on like so and a big photo mat in here and this is a die cut paper from the collection it was the 12 by 12 and this opens there is a tag in here and plenty of room for photos and journaling and this is uh, envelopes that I cut into or in half <laughs> and here and tags here and also yeah there and then this page Tim Holtz dress form again just some stamping and freehand cutting and masking tape and stuff and this opens and there's a big pocket with room for pictures and uh, this is also a die cut and heaven knows um, maybe a spellbinders die i'm not quite sure uh, a huge photo mat here and the same as on the front here and uh, yeah and this holds this so that's that and of course i had more paper leftovers and I decided to try and not uh, keep all the, the leftover papers from every stack that I get my hands on because I'll just fill my entire house with leftovers. So this time I de decided just to make as much as I wanted to make with it and then throw the rest of the papers. So um, because, you know, my uh, my scrap room like resembles some hoarder or something. So I have to stop somewhere. Um, so this is a stamp this is the papery uh stamp and that's again the sherry lynn die and this is also a little die which let's see if i'm lucky i can find out some oh that's the the eiffel tower it's a cottage cuts uh die it's a nice die and um, yeah, and here's the, the tab uh, file folder die. That was a memory box die. Oh, and here it's the doily die. It's a uh, diversions. Let's see. Diversions. Really nice, cuts brilliantly. Love, love, love it. And again, the lace from Leonie. Uh, just a button the, that's from the Tim Holtz die with the, the dress form and the, the ribbon again. And I just uh, decorated the back. Very simple. I'm going to stamp a, like a sentiment here. And place for writing. And that's a, like a really simple card. And then some of you have seen 
the gift bags that I made for Fiona for her wreck and uh, I decided to make gift bags with uh, these papers too so I used these um, I bought them off an Etsy seller so they're just decorated paper bags they, they come printed and I just smeared on some gesso and then just layered torn paper some masking tape some ribbons got this from fiona hi fiona thank you and this i got from lena katrin hello lena katrin thank you so much love this ribbon on on these bags and um all the most of the images are from magic moonlight images that's a free uh, download website and you can visit that one if you need some vintage Im images she's got a lot of great images for you to choose from and I just put a die cut from the collection behind her and yeah you see it's it's pretty much the same of all of these this is also from Fiona and they're like this so and this is from Fiona this beautiful little lace here love this image so this is just a, a quick and easy way to use scrap paper and uh, also you know we do giveaways and racks and stuff and we always need something to wrap wrap our gifts in so i thought that was a good idea so okay i hope you like my album and my project and uh, thank you all for watching i truly appreciate all your kind comments and your support it means a lot to me unfortunately i don't always have time to to answer everyone but i try my best and uh, please know that i i truly truly appreciate your comments so take care everybody and i hope to see you again soon Bye bye